Hi, Steve Pavota here, and I'm going to show you how to use the new post thumbnail feature that I've added to Moderno version 1.0.2. I'll soon be adding this feature to every other premium theme, but right now this is the only one where it's available. Um, it's actually a feature that's part of WordPress 2.9, so if you are using WordPress 2.8, you won't be able to take advantage of this. I've added a new post with a thumbnail, but as you can see, there's actually no thumbnail set right here. So let's go to the WP Admin and click on my post. And over here on the right, you'll see the post thumbnail meta box. It might be down here, um, but I would just like dragging it to the top. So that's the first thing that I see. And I'm going to click on that link, set thumbnail, to open up the media uploader. And you could just choose a file to upload directly from your computer, but I'm going to go to the media library and pick a file I already have here, use as thumbnail, close this. And over here, you'll see it's been added. I don't even have to save the post. I actually can just click back here and you'll see it's already been added to the post and saved. And if I go back to the front end and refresh it, there it is. Um, if you've installed Moderno on an old installation of WordPress uh, that has posts that have been written before and images that have been added before, you'll have to actually use a plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails. And what that will do is actually just regenerate your thumbnails so that you have thumbnails created to the specific size of your Moderno install so that when you select them and set them as a thumbnail, it'll crop it perfectly to fit into this image box. Um, the information for that plugin is just directly below this video. Download it, install it, and run it, and everything will work perfectly. If you're using an older version of WordPress, say WordPress 2.8, um, the old imagery sizer function will still work and it'll just grab the first image that has been added to your post and you can also still use the uh, image file URL path to set that image. But if you're using 2.9 I would suggest using this because it's the easiest way to go.